Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals using SketchUp. Today, we're going to talk about component instance versus definition. So we've been doing these Square One videos, introducing you to basic functionality, and we did one on components and groups. Actually, we did a couple on components and groups, and we had a question or two come up about what's the difference between instance and definition. How do you use that? How's that? So we had enough questions, I feared it was worth its own video. So here is component instance versus definition. Okay, so to start with, we got a component. That's this thing right here. Um, I made it, made the geometry, put a hole in it, and saved it as a component. Uh, when I saved it, I saved it at, with a definition of holy box because it's a box with a hole in it. And I gave it an instance name of box number one. All right, so we know this is a component, so we know how components work. So let's go ahead and do some things here. We're gonna start by moving it. I'm gonna move it, I'm gonna hit my modifier key to make a copy, and now we have two. All right, let's, you know what, let's, let's, do, let's do that again. Because why have just two when you can have three holy boxes? Okay, so, if I look at these, if I pick on the first one, it tells me this is box number one, holy box. Number two, number three, they're all the same thing. They are all named holy box <clears throat> because that is the name. I'm going to also pull up outliner right here. So you can see they all have exactly the same name. If I was to come in, grab any one of these, it doesn't matter which one, and I was to change it. So let's call it a box with hole. And I hit enter. Look what happens. All three of them change from holy box to box with hole because that's what a definition name is. It is what this component is called no matter how many times it's used. So if I was to take one more, so we'll go in here, we'll move again, option, move another copy over, and I will select this one and I'm going to right click and say make unique. So now this is its own thing. Now I was to take this one, go to the definition, and we'll call this um, we'll, we'll change this to a uh, hole in a box. All right? There we go. So now we have three box with hole, and we have one hole in a box. And again, they're different. So if I was to push, pull, make this one bigger this way, you know, you see that change. If I just grab this one, push, pull this, make it taller, all these ones change. That's because they're different, uh, different components. That is the difference in definition. Definition is the name of a component type, and it is the same across all copies of that component. Now, let's talk about instance. So right now, everything is called box one because I copied from the original one, which is called box one. I don't want to do that. I'm going to grab the second one, and I'm going to say, you, my friend, are box number two. And you, buddy, I'm going to select you. I'm going to call you box number three. And a little lying down on the job guy here, you are box number four. All right, so as I look at it now, now I have three copies of box with a hole. I can see an outline right here, box with hole, box with hole, box with hole. That's these three. And I have one hole in a box, hole in a box. But they have their own names, number one, number two, number three, number four. And I can actually see those down here. Those names, those instance names right there, are tied to nothing. They are, they can, like we saw before, they can be the same for every single one. There's no check. It doesn't come up and say, is this connected? It doesn't do that. It doesn't care. So each thing can have its own instance name, and that is not referenced to anything at all. I can't have two components with the same name, so if I try to name this one box with hole, it will let me do it. That's why when you copy a component, it puts hashtag one on there, hashtag two, whatever, uh, to change the numbering or change the name because it can't have multiple components with the same name. Instance doesn't care. So I could, in theory, call both of these box number three, and SketchUp wouldn't have a problem with that. But what you can use it for is differentiating different copies of the same component throughout your model by giving it a unique instance name if you want. Instance name can also be empty. So I could grab this guy in the end and just say, you don't have a special name, um, and I could just leave it there. I could just pull that out completely. Um, oops. 
There we go. So now it doesn't have a name. Just like Sumele, there's only one Sumele, and that is her definition name. She doesn't have an instance name, but you could add that to if you wanted. So that is the difference between putting an instance name on something and having a definition name on something. So that was not a very complex video. That wasn't a lot of things, but um, enough people, like I said, were struggling with that and asked questions about it that we figured it was worth a quick video. Hopefully that helps you. Components are super powerful. They're kind of the backbone of building inside of SketchUp. So the more you understand about them, the better off you're going to be, better you're going to be at making organized models that are easier to work with. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. Like I already mentioned, this video was created based on comments from viewers like you. We like making these videos a lot. We'd like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.